Hey everybody, so uh, this video is going to be about Super Mario Sunshine, which is a GameCube game, and it is, in my opinion, one of the best video games ever made. So in this video we're going to talk about the inconsistencies of the game, and we're going to focus especially on the scenery of the game. So let me explain. This game takes place on a place called Delfino Island, and the levels are actually different locations on the island. And when you play in a level in Super Mario Sunshine, you can see the other levels in the scenery, like a uh, far in the distance. So this is a uh, some sort of a connected world. And uh, what I just mentioned is uh, something that I'm quite fond of in Super Mario Sunshine compared to like Super Mario 64, which the levels are like a uh, just random uh, floating islands in the uh, in the sky, or we don't know exactly where we are, but uh, it just feels strange because there is nothing in the scenery. And the level is just basically floating in the air. So back to Super Mario Sunshine. Like I said, you can see the other levels in the background. And when you're looking at that, you're actually looking at a low poly version of all these levels. Because uh, the whole island is not rendered uh, at the same time. There is a low res version of the other levels in the scenery. And so it's made like that uh, so it can uh, save resources on the console. And uh, so this is just scenery that is made for uh, being seen in the distance. In this video, we're going to explore this scenery and uh, see what's wrong with it, because it has a lot of mistakes and uh, inconsistencies. We're going to explore it. And how are we going to do that? We will use the help of this here. So this is an action replay disc for Nintendo GameCube and this is actually the, the first version of it, the older version, because uh, there was a later there was a version of the action replay that was released later. This one here. And this one actually allows you to uh, to insert your own codes. So uh, you can find a code on the internet and uh, enter the code in the action replay in addition to the code that are already there. And this one here does not allow to do that. This one only uh, has codes that are already uh, built in. So what we're gonna do right now is load this disk in the GameCube. So right here is an actual Nintendo GameCube console. And it's plugged to a good old CRT TV. And uh, so as you can see here, this is the Action Replay memory card. So uh, this is uh, where are stored the codes that you enter so uh, when you enter your own code, disk is in there. So you will see there will be an error message. This this uh, disk cannot be read. So uh, don't worry, it will work. Just uh, I found out something. I have to uh, I have to insert the newer Action Replay disc before. So I restart the console with the other Action Replay disc. So this worked fine. And then I remove the CD and I insert this one. So uh, the codes are already selected. You insert Super Mario Sunshine, close this, and then boom, the game will load with the cheat codes. So if someone can explain me why uh, it does that, the GameCube, it loads the older action replay only after loading the this one. Why is it doing that? I have no idea. It's always been uh, doing that. Even say, ever since I was a kid, I was using this and it, I had to do that, and I have no explanation to it. So Super Mario Sunshine is loaded. So there we go, Super Mario Sunshine is loaded. And as you can see, we can move the character 
like this at hyper fast speed. Alright, so here we have Super Mario Sunshine loaded and uh, we will start by starting a new game file and uh, there you have that nice cutscene you cannot skip it unfortunately but uh, the second cutscene in the game which is after you get the first shine is uh, way longer it's like never ending So this is the first level, the airstrip, and there you're gonna see what the code does here. And there we can see Delfino Plaza in the distance. We're gonna travel there using the XYZ mode code, which allows to uh, to change Mario's position using the D-pad on the Nintendo GameCube controller. And so there we can see a low-res version of Delfino Plaza. And there's that random tile. Nobody really knows why it's there. And here if we go on this little island, you can see there is a fully rendered tree for some reason. And there if we go behind the the scenery here, you can see the scenery is only rendered on one side because uh, it's uh, meant to be seen from Delfino Earthstrip. It's normally not made for being seen from the back. Alright, now we will uh, select a game file with uh, the whole game completed. 120 shines. And we're gonna explore Delfino Plaza. So uh, in uh, Delfino Earthstrip, where we were just earlier, everything everything seemed uh, pretty fine. You could see Delfino Plaza in the distance. And there, from the actual Delfino Plaza level, you can see Delfino Airstrip right there. And uh, right there you can see that uh, if you look closely, you can see that there is something wrong with it because the entire Airstrip is not uh, all rendered. So uh, we will travel there using the XYZ mode code. So uh, this part of the uh, earth strip which is uh, supposed to be uh, located here, it isn't rendered. It just uh, not it does not appear. So I think they could have uh, done uh, this part better already. And now we're going to go in the other direction. Really fun code to use. Oh, there we go, Harbor. And even from Rico Harbor, they're so low res that even if you don't use the cheat and uh, look at it from the actual level, you can see that uh, it's not. It doesn't look nice, it looks ugly. Even there. And uh, even Pina Park. You can tell it's just a scenery. It's not that bad, especially on a vintage uh, television. But we're gonna travel there. And a fun fact is that in all the other levels where you can see the ferris wheel, you can uh, it turns. You see it turning, but in the uh, Delfino Plaza, uh, you can see it is uh, not turning. So Delfino Plaza is the only uh, level where you can see the the ferris wheel, but it's not turning. You can see really low res version of it. So this is the location where uh, Serena Beach and Gelato Beach should be located. And uh, you can see, you can only see the sound but nothing. 
There is nothing on there. You can also see uh, Bianco Hills here. Nothing interesting to see there. Really not much to see. So now we're going to uh, go to another level. We will go to Rico Harbor. Alright, so there you can see the you can see the park here, the amu the uh, peanut park, the amusement park, and uh, you can see the Ferris wheel and it's turning. And even if we don't move using the cheat code, you can see that there is something wrong if you look closely. Like you can see that the uh, the, rotati the rotating part of the Ferris wheel is actually uh, uh, going toward the tower. So. Uh, you can see that even without uh, traveling to there with the cheat code. There's Gelato Beach here. So uh, for Gelato Beach, uh, everything seems, uh, everything looks fine from here. So there we can see Delfino Plaza. And uh, there's a. Uh, with one major inconsistency in the scenery you can see here on uh, this uh, tiny island you can see the pipe that's here while uh, when you are in the actual Delfino Plaza level this pipe is not located on the island but it's located on the other island on the other side of the plaza so on this uh, this island here you, there is normally just a just a just a pianta lady there but in the uh, lower version, seen from Rico Harbor, you can see the pipe. It's not supposed to be located there. So this will be the pipe, the pipe that is uh, leading to the secret, uh, to the secret slide, and uh, it's normally located on the other island, and here. You, there is a palm tree and it looks like an actual palm tree but it's actually just a 2D model and you can't notice that uh, when you are in the actual Rico Harbor level so uh, this lower version of this Renault Plaza is uh, pretty well made now let's take a look at Bianco Hills so from Rico Harbor you can see Bianco Hills and here the three trees from uh, from Pianta Village that you can see in the distance behind Bianco Hills. Now this is kind of weird because if you go in the actual Bianco Hills level, you cannot see you cannot see a uh, Pianta Village in the distance. While normally they are supposed to be located close. If we look at the map, here Bianco Hills, Pianta Village is located behind it. And uh, so uh, here's what the scenery of uh, Bianco Hill looks like. So uh, same, the trees look the same as the one that is uh, on the island there. Alright, so let's get close to Pina Park. Serena Beach is visible uh, from the Rico Harbor, while you normally can't really uh, I don't think it's even possible to see this scenery here without cheat codes. You can see Ferris wheel is going through the tower and this is visible even from the uh, even from the Rico Harbor level itself. All right, so let's go to another level. We select exit area. And we will go to Bianco Hills. Mm -hmm. 
there this is an area where you go in the so you go in this area in the beginning of the game and you can see uh, the other levels in the distance and it was meant for that this even tells you basically what you're seeing and you can see Rico Harbor here right below so uh, one, one thing I have to explain is the invisible walls in uh, Super Mario Sunshine they are actually like full so uh, when you're in behi behind uh, the invisible wall uh, for the game it considers you're like uh, always hitting a wall or always inside a wall there, like you can't move in there, you can't move at all except with a cheat code. So as you can see, if I press B, if I dive, you can see I get stuck into the uh, this position. So if I press uh, L to do a ground pound, you can see I crash into the wall like this. And uh, with the cheat code to activate moving up and down, it's the L button, so it will always do this. Mario will always crash like this. When uh, using this but when uh, using the button to go up and down, so I found a solution to this. If I press uh, the Z button to display the map, the cheat code wor the cheat code works there too. So I can go down using this. I can go down like this without actually uh, uh, doing a ground pound. And there. Now some, there is something wrong here. This piece of island here is not supposed to be there. You, you see when I'm, when I'm in the actual Rico Harbor level, uh, when I'm in this area here, this location, uh, I can see Pena Park in the distance. Now I can see it because there is this thing which is not supposed to be there, so that's really inconsistent. So uh, there is no scenery of the uh, Gelato Beach level. Here from uh, Bianco Hills. So Corona Mountain here, the volcano. It is visible from every level in the game, and it's the only other level uh, of the game that is uh, seen from Nuki Bay. We're gonna exit area and uh, we're gonna go in Gelato Beach. Alright, so you can see that uh, when you're in the actual Delfino Plaza level, like this, well, there is no way you can see Gelato Beach, right? If I go here and here on the very edge of the level, I can see Rico Harbor, but nothing of Gelato Beach. But now I'm gonna go in the uh, Gelato Beach level. Going through all, all the walls. So there we can see Rico Harbor and uh, that piece of island that was here by Rico Harbor uh, when we were in the Bianco Hill course. Uh, it's not present here, so it's just very inconsistent. Like uh, the island uh, isn't the same shape when you're uh, in different level. So according to the level, so according to uh, the actual level you're in, the island is gonna look different. So here, when we are in Gelato Beach, we can see Delfino Plaza in the distance. Now that's inconsistent. Because when you're in, in Delfino Plaza, you cannot see Gelato Beach level. So right now I'm in the the scenery low race version of Delfino Plaza. And same if I'm here in this uh this little house that uh, leads to Rico Harbor. We can see a bit of Gelato Beach and we can barely see Pina Park. So 
here this is where the, the cannon that leads to Pina Park should be located. And as you can see, we can't even see Pina Park here. Just at a totally different location. So Nintendo, why did you do it like that, seriously? So here, this is the Serena Beach level, seen from uh, Gelato Beach. This looks pretty fine. This looks pretty fine too in the distance. But just the possession of it, it makes zero sense. You can see many mistakes in the uh, scenery and very inconsistencies. Now we're gonna do now we're gonna go in the Pianta village level. So uh, L button plus D pad will make Mario go up and down. So here, if we go uh, here on that giant tree, we can see uh, Pina Park here and Gelato Beach. And we can also see a little glimpse of Nuki Bay in the background, if we look closely. I'm gonna help myself by pressing the Z button, so I can uh, move Mario without the game actually running. So when I uh, remove the map, Mario will actually teleport. So this is a, a part of Nuki Bay. And uh, normally when you are in Nuki Bay, uh, you cannot see a uh, Pianta village, so this makes no sense either. Because if you're in this area of Nuki Bay, uh, if you jump a little bit, you should be able to see the top of the trees of uh, Pianta village. So, or Bianco Hills, you should normally be able to see it from here, but you can't. So this is a pretty big, pretty big mistake that Nintendo did. Maybe they thought that people will not notice it, but uh, apparently we do. This is where Sarina Beach should be located. And this is the, amu the amusement park. And just like when we uh, see it from Rico Harbor, this is pretty similar. It uh, spins through the tower. Now we're going into the Pina Park level.
So as you can see, uh, so Pina Park is divided in two sections. You have the park and you have the beach. You start in the beach and uh, when, you when you enter this door, uh, you get into the park. And the park area is actually uh, inside an invisible wall, as you can see. But where, when you are on the rides, uh, it's actually uh, you can actually move. So if you go here, on top of the Yoshigo Run, uh, so here you can move, and the the Yoshigo Run uh, sprite is actually there. And here's Serena Beach. Oh, I'm going to enter the park. So this is Sirena Beach, which you, which you can see in the distance. And it, it looks pretty fine. I mean, it, it does look like the actual level. And even if this uh, low poly version of it, you can recognize the shape of the GameCube controller. For those who didn't know, the Sirena Beach level, the beach itself is a, has the shape of a GameCube controller. So right here you have the A, B, Y and X buttons. And uh, in the center you have the start button. And here you have the, jo the joystick. And so you have the shape of a GameCube controller. And in a park right there. And uh, so... Uh, There we're in the low poly version of uh, Gelato Beach and Pina Park isn't at the same place at all compared to when you are in the actual level. These trees here are just uh, 2D models and uh, well you can see that when you are uh, when you don't get close to it. So without hacks you can see that. In this level, you can see both Pianta Village and Bianco Hills. So it makes zero sense that you cannot see these trees here when you are in the uh, actual Bianco Hills level. So if you are in the swimming position uh, while going uh, outside the invisible wall, you can't move, but you can dive. And this is the only way you can move without using the code. So you, you can't move at all when you are outside the invisible wall. So uh, any action that you do except diving, uh, Mario will freeze. And then Mario will remain stuck in the air, just like this. So the shine gate here looks pretty good. Now finally I'm gonna show you this. So if you go in the actual Delfino Plaza level, this is what you see when you look at the uh, what's supposed to be the Delfino Earth Strip. And now we're going to go in the actual Delfino Earth Strip level. So we're going to use the same uh, same file and we're going to go back there by talking to this Pianta here, which is going to ask us uh, 10 coins. And there we go. We're going to place ourselves in the same position that we are that we were earlier, but just in the actual Delfino Earth Strip level. So I wish Nintendo would uh, release a, a totally new remake of uh, Super Mario Sunshine with new graphics, uh, fixed glitches and uh, fixed scenery. If we could even have the whole, the entire island uh, rendered at the same time, that would be super great. 
and if we look at it, you can see it doesn't look at all. It doesn't look the same at all. So I think this uh, this definitely could have been done uh, better. So anyway, uh, thank you everybody for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video, please share it, and like and subscribe, and bye.